Wonder Stories of Travel by Various Authors. St. Botolph's Town. Long time ago, there were in England, as well as in many other countries, certain pious men and women who, for their eminent wisdom, charitable works, or lives of purity and usefulness, came to be called saints. Among these was a Saxon monk, the abbot of Aconho, St. Botolph by name, who lived about the middle of the 7th century. Botolph belonged to a noble English family. After having been educated at one of the religious houses in what was then called Belgique Gaul, he came back to England and begged of King Ethelmund a barren spot on which to build a monastery, and here, on the Witham River, near the eastern coast of England, in what is now called Lincolnshire, he built his priory, and founded a town to which was given the name St. Botolph's Town. Here is what an unknown poet says of it in Longfellow's Poems of Places. St. Botolph's Town, hither across the plains, and fans of Lincolnshire, in garb austere. There came a Saxon monk, and founded here a priory, pillaged by marauding Danes, so that thereof no vestige now remains, only a name that spoken loud and clear and echoed in another hemisphere, survives the sculptured walls and painted panes, St. Botolph's town, far over leagues of land and leagues of sea, looks forth its noble tower, and far around the chiming bells are heard. Now, as the English people have a queer way of shortening names. As the years go on, that reminds one of the riddle. Little Nan Eddycoat has a white petticoat and a red nose. The longer she stands, the shorter she grows. In process of time, old St. Botolph's town became reduced to simply Boston. Footnote. So now you see that, that echo in another hemisphere of St. Botolph's Town is, of course, the name of our own Boston, so called by its early English settlers in memory of the English Boston they had left behind them. Though, as those of you who have read Higginson's history know, it had at first borne the name of Trimountain because of its three hills, its Indian name having been Mushawamuk, shortened English fashion to Shawmut. Boston schoolboys never forget that the original Indian name meant free country or free land. The name Botolph means boat help, and so in those old times St. Botolph came to be deemed the patron saint of mariners, and as both Bostons are commercial centers by the sea, it is eminently appropriate that they should bear the old boat helper's name. Perhaps, too, that is why Simon Kempthorne, mariner, in Longfellow's New England tragedy of John Endicott cries out, when a fire is kindled in Boston's marketplace in the year 1656 to burn the religious books of the persecuted Quakers. Rain, 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 bones of St. Boltoff and put out this fire. Would not that quotation make a capital motto for a Boston fire company? The English Boston has a high church tower, one of the most beautiful in England. The loftiest tower of Britain's Isle, in valley or on steep. It resembles the tower of Antwerp Cathedral and is crowned by a beautiful octagonal lantern that can be seen 40 miles off. It serves, therefore, as a landmark for seamen. Another poet in Poems of Places says, Beneath that lordly tower a simple chapel stands. In days long gone it caught the sound of Cotton's earnest tongue. For the Reverend John Cotton, one of Boston's earliest ministers, came from Boston, England, and it is of him that Norton says in the tragedy of John Endicott, The lantern of St. Botolph's ceased to burn when from the portals of that church he came to be a burning and a shining light here in the wilderness. And now I have to tell you of what seems to me a pleasing and surprising coincidence. In the Catholic calendar, each saint has his special day. Thus, you know, we have St. Valentine's Day on February 14th, when you send the pretty Valentines. St. Patrick's Day, March 17th, 
when our Irish citizens march in processions, wearing of the green. St. John's Day, June 24th, when the Canadians among us make wreaths and garlands of the fresh young maple leaves, because the maple is the Canadian emblem. Now it so happens that St. Botolph's Day is of all days in the year for the American Boston's patron saint, what do you think, the 17th of June. That 17th of June, when Boston puts on her very best gala dress, when the bells all ring and the fire companies form into processions and the military march and the orators make speeches and the children sing and the great organ makes grand patriotic music and the stars and stripes are flung to the Boston East winds and the holiday is a jolly day. Now, do not you agree with me that we have found a delightful triple coincidence in that Boston's great holiday is Bunker Hill Day, and Bunker Hill Day is the 17th of June, and the 17th of June is Old St. Botolph's Day. Footnote. St. Botolph's Bridge in Huntingdonshire is now called Bottlebride. End of section 26.